And what they don't understand is, as I've pointed out in my history in simulacra and culture in simulacra videos, these social changes are in part a necessary consequent of humanity being forced to relate to a new set of radically different material conditions. The material, the social norms of the material conditions of the Middle Ages, of the Anshan regime, are completely incompatible with a modern technological society. And they ought to know this, but they don't. And so it's just a fool's errand because these, these quote unquote progressive social norms are those social norms that are most adapted to the current technological order, which also explains its success because they're like, well, how, how are these ideas so successful? They're so against the grain of nature. Well, they're successful because <laughs> they're, they're, they're against the grain of nature, but they're not against the grain of the machine and the machine rewards them. Whereas these people who think they're in line with nature, whether they are, and that's another question, are against the interests of the machine and are punished. And they just, they just can't seem to see it. Um, it's almost like living in the Stalinist era and you get arrested by the secret police and it's like, oh, well, if only Stalin knew that I was a good socialist, only if he knew I wouldn't be at the gulag and one day he'll know. One day somebody will tell him. It's, it's that level, it's that tier of delusion. It's, it's, uh, it's really sad. They don't have a sensible theory of power and politics and how to get power. You know, I remember just hearing this whole time, just get power. Okay, how? Nobody ever told you how. It was almost like a, it was almost like, it was like a self-help mantra, a prosperity gospel mantra. You know, if you just prayed hard enough, God would make you rich. If you just, if you just believe in yourself hard enough, you'd be a Fortune 500 company manager. If you just believed hard enough, you'd get power. It's literally the right wing equivalent of like, you know, self-help or prosperity gospel. If you just believe enough, You'll get it. It's like a Disney movie. It's just a joke. Uh, its view of history was completely insane, completely contrary to all the known facts. Reactionaries lose all the time. They never win. So again, if reactionaries never win in these conflicts with the left, why would you be a reactionary? Do you want to lose again? It makes no sense. So, and then of course, who's really in charge? The white lab coat priesthood, the international finance and the military industrial complex, all of which have their own interests and all of which kind of compete, but kind of don't. And then all of these social views, I mean, the entire new left is a CIA front, the cult, the cult, uh, Congress of Cultural Freedom. It's basically the CIA and uh, large corps, the Rockefellers and the Fords. So none of this is organic. All of this was intentional in order to get people to fit into these new social norms that the imposition of this technological order imposes on us. And so for these reasons and more, uh, stay tuned to my escaping the mold bug matrix for the more, I am not a neo-reactionary. And really neither should anyone else. I mean, in, in fact, neo-reactionary movement just needs to die. I mean, if, I thought it had died. You know, between 2016 and 2019, right before mold bug makes his reappearance, it had basically died. There was a whole spawn of just these ridiculous spinoffs the hestia society for social research social matter reaction times ascending the tower it was just just all these up their own backsides you know edgy computer programmer types and it was just you know there was what there was nick land there was nick b no not not, not nick land nick b steves uh, anti-dam and others and it was just it was just risible they had they had no understanding of the basics of history no understanding of the basics of power. They were they were kind of like edgy libertarians, is what they really were. And you know, it just it just completely disappeared. Just poof, gone. And the only one left was Moldbug, and Moldbug comes back. And then it turns out he goes, you know, he he gets all of his fans, uh Russell, he get Russell's their jimmies, and he, they're turning against them. Now, now again, then what, what really is the point of neo-reaction? As I've said elsewhere, I think neo-reaction is itself a deep state psyop. Uh, Moldbug has mentioned that when the CFR shows up, that's when the real deal is coming down. And he's been hinting in his, art, his essays that he's closely connected to the CFR. So I, I think that the best explanation for this is that Moldbug, I mean, 
how does this go viral on the internet? How does this, how does this get so many people and on board when it's so clearly incoherent and inarticulated? Well, you know, if you have the right people behind you, you can get really far, though it is still your game to lose, as we saw in Afghanistan. You can still lose to the Taliban. So, you know, Moldbug can still lose if he plays his game cards wrong. And the reaction really didn't exist after 26, 2017 because it just disintegrated even before the purge of Google and Facebook. And then, of course, it's there's there's an attempted comeback, I guess, but not really. So who knows? Who knows? But let's just hope we can drive a stake through the heart of this vampire and leave it in the rubbish bin of history. All right, the chat, the chat. <laughs> Minoan, why I'm not an NRX guy? Because I'm not retarded. Yep. Bullfrog VA, always here for some NRX Duncan. Yep. Yep, yep. Jorge Punta, hello. Uh, <laughs> Master Sanders, Latin American Protestants sound like American Normicons. LA Catholics sound like socialists and communists. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see, an ironic coolness to be F as a Catholic drifting Protestant, Tridentine Mass Catholics are one of the most socially conservative religious groups in the USA. Well, that might be true, but Tridentine Mass Catholics are very small. And um, those that are arguing for a rejection of the Novus Ordo Mass, uh, in previous times, Pope Francis is called, the people resisting me are the spirit of Satan. Who are the people resisting him? Oh yeah, those that want to want to go back to the Tridentine Mass. So, I mean, I think we know where Francis stands. Mass Creation Productions. I literally caught this live. Awesome. Didn't you make a version of this video already? Um, you might be thinking on some other videos I did earlier on, like uh, am I alt-right or why am I not alt-right? Um, no, I mean, I I've covered the NRX a little bit, but I haven't given it like a, a focused treatment. Uh Jorge Punta liberation theology is both a Catholic and Protestant creation. Well, in its Protestant form, it's primarily the result of the uh, Southern black churches. Whereas, and which I don't know to what extent they're related to the Latin American elements. I think it started there. Let's see. Bullfrog VA anti prot came out of exploiting and festering disenfranchised young men. American traditions were never going to be given a fair shake be it Republicanism or Protestantism or anything other. Well, th th again, that's the point, right? If you don't accept these traditional American values going back to the colonial era, in what sense are you even American? I mean, you're just as alien to America as the progressives or as these techno, you know, globalists. So uh, again, you know, get, get out of here. <laughs> 